Can you guys believe it? The snow is back in Star Stable. Yep, that's right. Winter has returned to Yorvik. And we've got this cute little Yule goat that's right here that's going to take us all the way to the Winter Village. A baby Yule goat approaches you. She nudges you softly as if wanting to get your attention. There's a tag hanging on the ribbon tied around her neck. It reads, come with me to Miss Holdsworth at Moreland Stables. Help the baby Yule goat get home. And we're going to be collecting winter tokens. Come on, little Yule goat. Let's go. I mean, let's go. Oh, we've got the Christmas tree right here in the center of Silver Glade. We've got more Yule goats. But this little baby Yule goat wants to go hang out with Miss Holdsworth. There she is, the new Miss Holdsworth. Oh, she's got a bunch of Yule goats hanging out in her yard. I wonder if she's baking any pies for them. There's even one right here on her porch. Warm winter wishes. Looks like the Yule goat found you just in time for the festivities. It's the most magical time of the year. Together with my little Yule goats here, would you like a your berry pie? Uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Well, I've been having fun crafting Yule goats out of the last straw from fall. And then you can feed them pies. Animals of Yorvik love to come together in this time of year to keep warm and even join in on the winter festivities. Just like all these little Yule goats. Follow the Yule goat to the winter village. I wish I could come along, but I've got Yule goats to feed and pies to bake and make. Oh, look at the little Yule goat. The little Yule goat bleats excitedly in agreement. There it goes to catch up with it. It's leading the way to the sleigh. There we go. Now we can hop on the sleigh and fly away to the winter village. Oh, look. Oh, no. The Yule Goat can't come along. The Yule Goat bleats farewell before bounding away. Okay, but before we go, I just have to see this. Oh, <gasps> there is a new island on the map. Okay, wait a minute. We need to go check that out first. Wow, here it is. Okay, over by Moreland. It's the Yorvik Riding Camp, as it says right here on the sign. So Star Stable said in their blog that their new players can enjoy a brand new beginning to the game. This longer introduction takes you to a brand new location, the Riding Camp. Players can now meet the Soul Riders at the very beginning of their Star Stable journey. And there's also new starter gear. So this is it. We have to go over there. Let's see what the Yorvik riding camp is like. This is brand new. <gasps> it's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, should we see what this looks like without the snow? All right, I'm just going to press the little snow off a button right here just to see what it's always going to look like. And this is permanent. This is always going to be here. Okay, so we've got a little paddock right here. Someone's riding around. Little area over here. Lots of like little paddocks. So they should give you a nice little introduction into Star Stable. Oh, this is so cute. This is really great for role playing. Oh, there's a foal in here. There's a new foal. Oh, it's so sweet. Who do you think the parents are? Definitely this one, right? They, they look really similar. This is so fun that they actually add in like new areas. What do we have in here? Some more horses that are in here. Another really nice paddock. Let's go back over here. Take the bridge. There's a little campfire. There's all these tiny like little cabins. These little mini houses. Can you ride around in this water? Oh, you can ride around. Okay, new players will not know about the swimming yet. That you can't do any swimming. There's a little dock here. Yeah, but they can't go over it yet. <laughs> So what's on the other side of the island? Just nice little streams to follow. They get such a large area. This is so much bigger than I thought it would be. They can go up here. It's not much over here, but you can go over here. Oh, this would be nice to kind of trail ride around, especially since you actually can be in the water. There's a rune stone here. Let's just race all the way around it. Oh, little foxes. This is fun. I like seeing a new area, and I'm happy that you don't have to be a new player in order to come over here and enjoy it. All right, back to the Winter Village sleigh. Are you ready to travel to the Winter Village? Yes. Let's fly. Okay, we made it. Ooh, it's purple. Welcome to the Winter Village. There's been a disaster. See what's going on by the Winter Crystal. Winter Village runs on winter magic, the most magical of magic -y magics. And the most magical of magic crystals, the magnificent magic... <laughs> magic -y winter crystal has been damaged. It's a winter tragedy. Go see for yourself. It's just south of here in a little clearing by the lake. All right, what's going on? Yeah, because it definitely should not look like this with this purple tint. Let's go explore and see for ourselves. <gasps> There's a family of deer. Hello. Nice seeing you. Oh, there it is. So this is new. This is the crystal right here, but you can see it has no energy. So what do we do, Fumble? It wasn't my fault. At least not 100% my fault. What happened? How could I have known that the crystal was so fragile? Gather the snowflakes. Oh, however, could this have happened? This is really bad. The winter crystal is in pieces and the winter magic is normally stored within it has been scattered across the village. The crystal normally powers everything in here, but look, doesn't the place just look a little duller than usual? I've seen some peculiar things appearing around the village too. Must be all that stray magic. Look, right there. That's what I mean. The snowflakes definitely sparkle more than they did before. This is wild. I like them. What? Okay, I'm on the rock. 18,000 snowflakes? Trot, trot, trot. Oh no. 
People are saying that it takes a lot of these snowflakes. Ah, uh, the snowflakes must have contained some of the winter magic. And by collecting them, some of that magic was returned to the crystal. Maybe the crystal can be restored then. If you collect more of those snowflakes or whatever else the winter magic has touched, you'll be able to bring the winter crystal back to its former glory. Could you do that? I'll make sure you get rewarded. I think I have an outfit lying around here somewhere so you can dress just like me with a bulb on your horn. I'll help you out. I'll watch the winter crystal, yes. Make sure the magic stays in this time. Don't worry, you can trust me. I can fix this. I know we can. Good luck. Okay, this bar will display how much winter magic you have collected in your progress towards the next round. Try pressing it. You can collect things, including player XP, horse XP, Jorvik shillings. Looks like there's an outfit in here. The Yeti Hunter cowboy hat. So how far does it go? Okay, there's a full tax set in here. Outfit. Woo. Hopefully the wardrobe can handle it. 18,000 crystals is the final milestone. Oh no, people are not happy. Star State will really be making us collect all these snowflakes just to get the normal winter village back. I'm too lazy for this. Oh no, people are saying my schedule is packed. And 300 for only 50 horse XP. That's actually insane. It should be at least 300 horse XP. Star Stable is definitely a very, very grindy game. Okay, so let's see if we can go and find more snowflakes. Hopefully this won't take too long to do. Even though I know they want you to log in daily, but hopefully the grind isn't too much. Oh, but I am sliding on the ice. Oh, this makes it a lot more difficult. Oh, what's better than receiving a present? Receiving one every day. Don't forget to stop by the Yule Tree for your daily gift. Let's see, day one, Granny Season Beanie. Channel your inner Holtzworth when you're hoarse and you wear this. Granny is a state of mind. Hey, you got a nice beanie. I mean, I like the clothing. Oh, we got some XP. Was that for player or for horse? I think it was for player. Some food, apple, carrots, oranges, horse XP. Oh no, I hit my shilling limit. Let's go ahead and open up day six. What does that say? Granny season cardigan. Okay, it's really hard to tell what it looks like. It's the recolor of that one knitted sweater, but it looks nice. Oh, there's an exchange over here. The vendor accepts winter tokens in exchange for merchandise. Check out the goods. Okay, but these all cost winter tokens, but it looks like we've got some different sets in here. The snug stable day set, the berry bear hug set and then you can get some previous items like the howdy holiday is in here the crimson tidings gallant glacier set and winter night set yes i love it when they bring back some of the older sets okay so that's nice so we've got two new sets in here but those cost winter tokens what does the yule goat have to exchange okay you can also exchange your warm wishes for other rewards like your big shilling and horse xp you can buy some cute pets yes okay the winter horses are all back all of these magical horses are back including the very popular unicorn and the deer horse and this one right here with the big horn. I love that one too. You guys, they're adding in four new Christmas horses this year. Four of them. Two will be magical and two will be normal coat. Yes, so the green screen is back. I feel like this is something that we always need in the game, you know, especially if you make like a lot of role plays like I like to do. So that would be very helpful. So happy to see that back. I didn't see any more snowflakes, but I'm sure they're out there. Oh, are they just on the ice? No, oh no. That's gonna take forever to collect them, sliding around on them. Oh, you can hit the snow mound. Oh, okay, so if you run through the snow, then you can get even more snowflakes. Oh, here's some that aren't on the ice. Let's see if I can unlock anything yet. Oh no, the lowest one is 300. <gasps> That's mean. That is going to take forever. No. Just like the fireflies in the hollow woods. That took me forever to do. Get the snow. There we go. Okay. Collect all those snowflakes. The weather has been really strange in Jorvik lately, and it seems to have taken a turn for the worse. Best go see if anyone needs help. There's a freak snowstorm in Jorvik. Go and see what it's about. Okay. It says it's picking up in Moreland. So Star Stable did bring back the blizzards, but thankfully it is nothing like it was last year. Last year, that was such a hassle. Last year, they only appeared... Do I have a chainsaw in my hand? Why do... Why do I have a chainsaw? Thankfully, this year, Star Stable said that the blizzards have returned. Two snowstorms will appear per day and rotate every hour so you have multiple opportunities to catch them both. Yes, that is so much better than last year where they were at two set times. And if you miss that time, then you were out for that day. Like you, you couldn't repeat it or anything. Oh, there it is. I see it over there. I like this so much better. This is so much more considerate of players' time, especially during the holiday time. And we all want to be able to get the rewards and experience 
the blizzards. I know some people were not able to experience it at all, so this year you definitely can now that the time is open. All right, I'm gonna take my chainsaw. <laughs> we're gonna slice through this blizzard. There's Rowan. Hey, Rowan. Hey, thanks for coming. It's cold. I had a feeling we were in for a bit of snow, but not like this. I lost control of my truck and that whiteout. And the supplies took a tumble. I'm trying to recover them, but it's a mess. Can you help me look for them? Help her own find the lost supplies. You got it. Can you easily find them? There's one right. Oh, yeah, I thought that was a supply. It was just the hay being uncovered by the snow. Look at that. Oh, there's the supply. There's one. And you can just find them by looking at your map. Good old trusty map. There to help you out all the time. There's more supplies. And more supplies. You got them all? Good. Even when things are dark and stormy, there's always a bright spot. And it's people like you. Thank you for this. Okay, so now that I've unlocked the blizzard quest. Oh, there, there goes Rowan. He's gone. So now I just have to keep an eye on the time just a little bit. And it said every hour the blizzards will rotate. So you want to make sure you do two different blizzards a day. Also, follow the Aurora Borealis over there. And this has some really cute like holiday themed activities. Let's go see what this one is. I see something. What is that? All right, we followed the Aurora Borealis. Ah, the Yule Goat. I think they are up for a game of hide and seek. Hello. Good thing you can just follow their little snow tracks. Find all three of these little babies. There's a little baby over here. There it is. Oh, there's another one right there. Great, found all three of the baby Yule Goats. Bring them back to mom. There you go, here's your little babies. Oh, oh, she's not happy. I brought you your babies back. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. Here, do you want the chainsaw? You can have the chainsaw if you want the chainsaw. Maybe she wants the hay. She probably thinks I took the hay from the babies. I didn't. It's hay from the stable. Actually, I don't really know where I got it from. Or the chainsaw. Help. Okay, she stopped. She's sleeping. All right. Go back to the winter village. Okay, rewards a winter token. Ooh, let's see what the new hollow woods look like since we're over here. What do the fireflies look like now that it's all covered in snow? Oh, look at the leaf piles. They're all frosted over. Oh, this is so nice. This looks so good. The wisps are definitely harder to see with the snow on. Look how bright that is. Actually, the fireflies are kind of difficult to see. Oh, build a snowman. Oh, I definitely know what this snowman needs. It's right here. <laughs> I can give the snowman a chainsaw. There we go. Now we're the same. Look at us. All right, we'll give him a frosty scarf, a happy face, candy nose stick arm. There we go. Looking good, Snowy. Also, do not forget to do the holiday races too. You'll also get winter tokens that way. What's Alex doing out here? Yeah, I recently decided to put my chainsaw skills to better use and taught myself how to carve ice into interesting things. Ready to make some art together? Carve a block of ice with Alex to create an interesting sculpture. I mean, I might as well. I've, I've got my chainsaw. Wait, where did it go? Now it's gone. Now would I need it? Carve the ice. There we go. Did we get anything? Oh, we did. Got a snowflake. All right, let's try this one. Try carving it. Oh, we've got a penguin. Ooh. Oh, I like this one. We've got a beautiful horse. Now there's one more. Carve this one. Ooh. Clearly, you've got someone on your mind. Someone you want to use a chainsaw on. Just kidding. This one's very nice. That looks good. All right, so that is definitely a daily quest that you can do. Look at the cute little deer are following now. Cute. Let's race over to the bonus shop. There's supposed to be something there. So the bonus item for Star Riders should be in. <gasps> yes. Oh, we get a cat. Kit the cat. This feline Knight Rider is a rebel at heart. Kit is the perfect mix of adorable and adventurous. Pick that up completely for free. We'll go over to this cat right here so we can take a closer look. <laughs> look at the pattern. All right, hop out of the saddlebag. Cat's got a purple tail and just that really interesting pattern on its face. Oh, it's so cute. All right, you guys. Well, the Winter Village is back. Join me next week. It's gonna be super sweet. No, really it is because they're releasing a gingerbread magical color changing horse. You do not want to miss it, so come back and join me. I mean, you're subscribed, right? So you'll just get the video right away. Let the snowy fun adventures continue, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. Come on, Kit. Let's go find the next blizzard.